You also visited Manipur last month, uh, and Manipur has been gripped by ethnic violence for more than a year now, and it doesn't help them that they have uh, a border that they share with Myanmar, which is dealing with its own problems, and uh, there are concerns about a spillover. What is your assessment of the ground situation there? In the lighter vein, ek ke saath ek free, because Manipur was a problem, and now you have the Myanmar problem also coming in. So as far as Manipur problem of FC in May 2023, it all started with a rumor that there was a anglo kuki war centenary gate which is being burnt it was not being burnt i have gone on ground and confirmed from everyone now that rumor mongering led to major violence which is still finding its kind of a stabilization phase which has not reached so what has happened over a period of time it has become a battle of narratives there is a polarization between the communities the situation may be stable stable today but it is tensed now what all can be done about it but before that what all other things which have happened what you talked about internally displaced people the number reached to 60000 of course with a perseverance now that has come to below 40000 similarly this society has weaponized got weaponized to some extent why because the weapons were looted that also needs to be seen the women led organizations have come up for the defensive purposes the underground organizations have come up for the defensive purposes the battle lines are getting hardened therefore what we have done as of now that firstly we have to be very clear it has to be whole of nation approach as far as the army and assam rifle is concerned we have deployed approximately 126 columns of army and assam rifle combined together in conjunction with so many other stakeholders which are already operating in this state and we are trying to calm down the situation we are trying to bring in the trust we are trying to restore the trust it will take its own time because when the social cracks or the social fracturing takes place it takes own time to kind of recover but what has also happened that we have been able to recover a large number of weapons approximately if i can say that 25% of weapons have already been recovered and double the weapon which were of local kind that also been recovered i have also gone and met the ex service men because they are the last bastion of national integration and social harmony they are advising us how to go about it we are working closely with them as well as the central administration to look into how what are the possible lines of effort which we should go ahead in future are there concerns about foreign assistance to certain militant groups from myanmar if we retrace the history of manipur the issues are very very complicated we have to go back to the kabao valley and so on so forth we will not talk about it but what is important we earlier had something called as valley based insurgent groups vbigs from where, where were they being supported they were being supported from across now similar kind of allegations is coming for the other groups out here what we are looking at that we should not allow wrong narratives to be built up for example there was a narrative of the bomb drones we have gone, gone on ground and checked up there is no bomb drone there was another wrong narrative which we said 900 anti national elements have infiltrated we checked up there is nothing like that so if we control that i think things will be all right now what we are talking about the external support as for the external support is concerned myanmar is having its own problem when we are having the own problem what happens they also have some people who are getting displaced where they getting displaced where will they go they will only go to those places which are peaceful and ready to accept them and that's what is happening in mizoram and manipur so those people who are coming they are coming unarmed and they are coming for kind of a some kind of a shelter and india the country we are we will make sure that they provide the shelter food and support till the time we can